Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new video for you. And this time I'm gonna be delving into my wardrobe, giving you guys an insight on what I have stored for next season. Now what I'm about to show you aren't necessarily new pieces I've bought. It's just a few old items that I use every year around this time, the transitional period. So let's dive in. First, I'm gonna go through my jacket collection for autumn. Now this piece, I would say it's probably the best investment I've had since I bought this. I've pretty much worn it every other day um, for work, weekend, whatever. When the weather's mild, this is perfect. When it's cold, I can layer up with a scarf, a thick jumper. Um, it's this jacket, this leather jacket. It's perfect for spring, perfect for autumn, those transitional seasons. I think it was around £129. It's real leather, so it's pricey, but it's definitely worth it. I always bought the boyfriend size. I prefer this size um, personally because I have kind of a slightly tomboy style in the day. So this suited me down to a T. Um, yeah, so I think at the moment I would say this is my most favourite jacket and my most worn piece in my wardrobe right now. The second jacket I'm going to show you is this gorgeous number here. I bought this um, from River Island last spring again, I think. And it was £122. It's real suede, hence the hefty price point, but I do think it's worth it um, as it's still in really good condition. I haven't worn this nowhere near as much as the leather, the leather jacket, um, but it's still a really, really nice piece. I would say that it's quite heavy as it is real suede, so just be careful where, when you're going to wear it. I would just check on the weather. I think this is probably best to wear in more chilly conditions, um, with skinny jeans or just a dress and you're good to go. Now, especially if you're working, I think it's always good to have a classic white shirt in your wardrobe that you can wear all year round, matching any other style of trouser or skirt. And I've owned quite a few in my time, um, working over different jobs in the office. This year I went for something slightly different. So I bought this from Zara. This white shirt here. I especially love this because of the full sleeves. This is the main reason I got this. I just wanted something slightly different as I have owned a few white shirts in the past um, and it fits slightly looser so it's like a slight boyfriend fit so you can tuck it in or have it out. It's exactly what I was looking for at the time and I think I'll definitely be able to get some more wear, wear out of it um, come this autumn winter season. I know that tall skirts have been a big thing this year and I don't think they're going to stop come autumn winter season so I have this skirt already. Go a bit more close to the camera so you can see. It's kind of like a tall skirt, it has a layer underneath and that is sheer bit on top. Very much like the Dior dresses that have been thrown across the runway earlier this year. Everyone needs a good trusty black pair of smart trousers and this year I went for these from Topshop. They weren't selling in the sale I don't think, I just kind of found them by themselves on a rack randomly. They fit very tight on the waist, high waisted but then they flow down, so they have like a loose leg, and they have a slit at the front. So your kind of calves are having a little peekaboo moment. You can show off any nice shoes you want to wear with it. I've worn this with heels, which I think is probably the best way to wear these pair of trousers. Now this year, when it comes to jeans, I really like the straight cut. Um, before, I didn't think it would suit me, so I was very worried of getting that um, star look at the end of last year. I was very comfortable with my skinny jeans, my ripped skinny jeans, but I thought I'd just try something different. So I think it's all about trying different pairs, different styles, different brands on really with jeans before you buy them, which is what you should be doing anyway. Um, and just seeing what fits you. Everyone has a different figure. I'm more bottom heavy. Um, so yeah, it can be difficult to find jeans that are flattering for my body type, but I found a couple this year, really nice pairs, similar in terms of the straight leg, but the styles between both are quite different. The first pair I bought were from Topshop, you've probably seen these around, a few blogs, a um, few YouTube bloggers wearing these, a few lookbooks. It's these straight leg bleached jeans from Topshop. I think they're actually just called straight jeans, I know there's different names like like Baxter and but I think these are literally just called straight jeans. I like these because they have the frayed bit at the ankle, just adds that little tough edge. I like them with the white wash. These fit quite tight um, and they sit slightly high rise, so tight at the hip and at the beginning of the leg 
and then they're just going to like a straight leg but not too wide and then i went into monkey um i tend to go in that shop every now and then just to see what's there i don't necessarily buy from the shop but um i do like their styles of designs i know it's that the dresses and t-shirts a bit more boxier i noticed they have a new jeans range and i've never tried on any of their jeans so i went into the shop i tried on three different types i think i tried on a skinny jean and two high-waisted jeans and i ended up buying one of the high-waisted jeans that had a nice straight leg these jeans here i can't remember the name of them uh, i have to find the name I have to post now, I can't remember the style of fit, but I'll post the details either on this video or in the description box below. A really cool pair, very different to the top shirt ones. Similar in the fact they have a straight leg, but the straight leg is slightly wider. And this is very high-waisted. This is a very tomboy style of jean, um, but I've been able to dress it up with heels and just a tight-fitting top. Now, everyone needs an LBD. Over the years, I have accumulated quite a few. Had to throw some away, I've kept some. But the one I would say is my favourite that I've kept, that I continue to wear from year to year, is this classic number here. This was from Armani Exchange. It really does flatter my body shape. It's a form-fitting dress with a classic style of shoulder strap. So it's very timeless. It will never go out of fashion. And I have worn this on a few nights out and been very happy with my outfit choice. So that is it for all my pieces in my wardrobe for the next upcoming season of autumn i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please let me know what you thought in the comments below let me know if you want me to give you another one of these kind of wardrobe look throughs i found it quite enjoyable i'd love to make another one maybe for the winter season going on to the spring season so let me know what you think about that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please don't forget to visit my website and also my Instagram page at Esha Styles and leave some likes and comments on there. Don't forget to follow. Thanks for your support and I will see you guys next time.